Marcus Hayes, Fight Up TV, powered by Stage from VIP. With my guy, you see him, the always classy, well dressed, my man, Coach Bullet. What's up, Coach? We just saw Demetrius Sandre get stopped, dropped by David Benavidez, man. What'd you think about the Mexican monster tonight? I already called it. He's too long, too strong, too fast. He needs to just go ahead and fight Canelo, but there's one other guy, uh, the Cuban guy. Um, David Morrell. David Morrell. Maybe the next test before Canelo, but he's ready for both of them. I think Benavidez is the king of division. So do you think that they should fight to see who fights Canelo? Yes, Robert? absolutely. Morrell against Benavidez, and it's mandatory for him to fight Canelo. How do you think that matchup goes, Morrell versus Benavidez? It's going to be a tough one. It's going to be a barn burner, and it's going to be a, a, a will fight. Benavidez is long, tall, and strong. Morrell is strong, can punch, very good fighter. So that's what we need. And then we go to Canelo. He's a pound for pound king right now. Were you surprised at all with the performance of uh, Benavidez tonight? No. With the way he dealt with Dan Drake? No. I know he's in dog shape. When Benavidez is in shape, nobody beat him. He's in dog shape, bro. Canelo Alvarez included in that company that can't win. If he's, he's, he's too long for Canelo. He gonna do what, what Bivol did to him. And worse. Do you think that there's a chance if they got together at this point in Canelo Alvarez's career that he might be stopped by Benavidez based yes, on what you absolutely. saw tonight? Absolutely. Benavidez will stop him. Benavidez got a gas tank and he got bad intentions with his punches. That's what I like to see. Speaking of bad intentions, tonight we saw several points in the fight where Benavidez looked like he absorbed and then gave it right back Absolutely. harder and harder and harder. Talk to us about what kind of fighter that is. Is that willpower? Where's that coming from? That's a special type of fighter because you got to be able to, de to give it and to receive it. A lot of fighters these days cannot take the pressure that they bring forward. They can't take the hits that they put on the other guy. So he showed that he could deliver and he could take it. And he can make the adjustments. He adjusted to a very slick Andrade with a very unorthodox style. Unorthodox fighters are the toughest fighters to fight. Next week. We're all going to Houston, Texas. Ryan Garcia, Oscar Duarte getting together. What do you think about that matchup? I think um, as long as Ryan Garcia's boxing, keep his speed up, he should beat him up. Week after that, we'll be in San Francisco, California. Big Devin fight. Haney. Devin Haney, Regis Pro Gray coming together. Talk du to us about that. The way, the way Devin has been improving, the way he's been working on his power, I think Devin Haney can stop him. Really? Pe pe people don't understand that, but it, they'll see if he come fight night. Regis Proge, a guy that likes to bang on the inside. He's not good opportunity. He's not going to get the opportunity. No, Devin is too far, too too smart, too much footwork, to great job. And his right hand is getting better. What else is going on in, in, in Bullets world Man, as far right as your now, fighters go? Right now, you know what I'm saying, you know, we got Roley on layaway. We got Zarina McCoy. She's fighting for the IBO Intercontinental in Colima, Mexico on December 2nd. Then I got my other guys moving, um, Christian Daniels, Joseph Francisco, and, um, T T and TJ. Then we got Tristan Calcrude on Golden Boy. He's moving again in come January. So it's, it's going to be busy for me. You know what I'm saying? I got to tell you, I'm the busiest coach in boxing. I got 11, 12 pros, some overseas, and about six, seven badass amateurs. Excellent. So Bullet staying busy. Always, always. I'm, I'm, I'm the youngest coach with the, with, the, with the strap around my waist. So let's keep moving. Bullet, what do you think was, as we as we rain the year down, as the year's draining out, what do you think was the most memorable moment of the year for you in boxing this year? Um, just Roley coming back and winning the uh, 140 um, WA World title. You know what I'm saying? And that to me is um, showing a lot of a lot of grit, a, a lot of a lot of mental toughness to come back off the L and come back and win a title in a bigger division. How long do we expect Roley to be out of the ring? Um, actually, that is not my call. But whenever we're ready to go, they know we're going to be in the lab working. Who do you want to fight next with Roland? Um, like I said, we like the Ryans. We like the big names. We like the, the guy that's more lucrative, the guy that's good for the legacy. All the guys that don't sell and don't really have nothing to bring to the table. Like, you know, come on now. You know what I'm saying? Like, this, we, we, we prize fighters. We, we, we done did all the hard work. We done fought for free. We done fought broke. Now it's time to get the money, keep the money going. There you have it, folks. Marcus Hayes, Fight Hub TV with my guy, Coach Bullet, the classy Coach Bullet. Appreciate all your right. time, dog. All righty, baby. All right, my guy. Yes, sir. All right, Thank you so much for watching this video and make sure to subscribe for more videos of your favorite fighters over here on Fight Up TV and give us a follow online as well at Fight Up TV on Twitter and on Instagram. We appreciate it guys.